there were only two teams who could beat Kellen Moore while he was at Boise State, Texas Christian and Nevada. Moore was a four-year starter at Boise State, going 50-3, becoming the winningest quarterback in college football history. But who is Kellen Moore? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. In our third episode of the Flashback Friday series, we are going through the career of Kellen Moore, which was requested by Jalen Barnes. If there's a player you want to see in future episodes, make sure to leave it in the comments section below. Kellen Christopher Moore was born on July 5, 1988 in Prosser, Washington, which is located in Southern Washington. His father, Tom Moore, was a high school head coach at Prosser High School from 1986 to 2008. As the Prosser head coach, Tom led them to 21 league titles and four state championships. Kellen learned and started playing the game of football as soon as he could walk. Growing up, Kellen and his younger brother Kirby would go to watch their father's football practices after school. Kellen always had a notepad where he would drop his own plays. Kellen grew fast and then stopped growing, measuring to be 5'11 as a sophomore in high school. Kellen attended high school at Prosser, where he would play and letter in football and basketball three times. As a sophomore, Kellen threw for 2,442 yards, 39 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. Going into his junior year, Moore's father started letting him call his own plays, and as a result, Moore threw for 4,600 yards, 66 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. Moore's 4,600 passing yards and 317 completions were Washington's single-season records. As a senior, Kellen led Prosser to a 12-1 record and a spot in the state semifinals. In the semifinal game, Moore would throw two interceptions in a loss to Centralia. He finished his senior year throwing for 4,325 yards, 67 touchdowns, which was a state record, and eight interceptions. During his time at Prosser, Moore racked up the rewards being named the Gatorade Player of the Year for the state of Washington, Prep Star All-American, First Team All-State, Division II MVP by the Seattle Times, League Player of the Year, third-team All-State as a junior, and three-time All-League. He also rewrote the Washington State career record book, setting the records for completions with 787 and touchdown passes with 173. He finished his career completing 65.9% of his passes for 11,367 yards, 173 touchdowns, and 34 interceptions. Although he rewrote the Washington State record book, Kellen Moore was still only a three-star recruit who was the 12th best player in Washington, 41st best pro-style quarterback in a class headlined by Jimmy Clausen and Ryan Mallett, and 1,048th best player nationally. Moore received three different Division I offers from Boise State, Eastern Washington, and Idaho. With Boise State being known as underdogs and being a five-hour drive from his home, Kellen Moore decided to commit to play for the team known for the Blue Turf and Statue of Liberty play, at the time recently beating the Oklahoma Sooners in the Fiesta Bowl. During the 2007 season, Kellen Moore would redshirt before taking over the starting quarterback position in 2008. Kellen Moore would set a tone for his career at Boise State his redshirt freshman year, leading the Broncos to an undefeated regular season and WAC championship. Moore's 3,486 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions were good enough for him to be named the WAC Freshman of the Year and Second Team All-Conference. He was also voted the MVP of the offense by his teammates and freshman All-American by the Football Writers Association of America. Boise State would go on to play TCU in the Poinsettia Bowl. At the time, Boise State was ranked 9th in the country at 12-0, while TCU was ranked 11th with a 10-2 record. It was the first time in BCS Bowl history that two teams were ranked higher in a non-BCS Bowl than those playing in the BCS Bowl, with the Orange Bowl being played between Cincinnati and Virginia Tech, who were 12th and 21st respectively. Boise State would take a 13-0 lead before TCU came back to win 17-16. Moore's record as a starter, 12-1. Going into 2009, Moore was rated as the 37th best returning player. Moore led Boise State to a season opener win over Oregon. Then he proceeded to run over the rest of the WAC, leading Boise State to a 13-0 record and another conference championship. Their reward? A date with TCU once again, this time in the Fiesta Bowl. Now, this was a controversial decision by the BCS due to them not matching either team up against automatic qualifiers in Florida, Cincinnati, Iowa, or Georgia Tech, with the fear of power conferences being embarrassed. Let me know if you want me to do a video on this conspiracy theory in the comment section below. TCU came into the game going 12-0 and ranked 3rd in the nation, while Boise State came in 13-0 and 6th in the nation. 
This time, Boise State would be the last ones laughing, winning 17-10, with Moore throwing for 211 yards, finishing the season 14-0. Moore finished the season throwing for 3,526 yards, a Boise State record 39 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions, finishing the season with the highest passer rating in Division I. Moore's record as a starter, 26-1. Going into the 2010 season, Boise State came into the season ranked as the third team in the nation behind Alabama and Ohio State. Boise State opened up the season against 13th ranked Virginia Tech in Landover, Maryland, where they won the game 33-30, with Moore throwing for 215 yards and three touchdowns. A few weeks later, Boise State went on the road and beat number 24 Oregon State 37-24, with Moore throwing for 288 yards and three touchdowns. Boise State would get ranked as high as the number two team in the nation. Then, number three Boise State played against number 19 ranked Nevada, who was led by Colin Kaepernick. Boise State was on a 24 game win streak going back to the previous season while Nevada came into the game at 10 1 with their only loss coming to Hawaii. Boise State took a 17 0 lead before Nevada scored with 420 left in the first half to make it 17 7. Then Boise State scored with just under 3 minutes left in the half going into half with a 24 7 lead. With a little over a minute left in the third, Cap scored on an 18 yard run to cut the lead to 24 14. Early in the fourth, Rashard Matthews rushed for a 44-yard touchdown to cut the lead down to 24-21. Nevada hit a 23-yard field goal with 5.14 left to tie the game up before Kellen Moore and crew responded with a 79-yard touchdown pass to Doug Martin. With 13 seconds left, Kaepernick connected with Rashad Matthew on a 7-yard passing touchdown to tie the game and force it into overtime, before Nevada won an OT, 34-31, ending Boise State's perfect season and hopes at a national championship. Boise State finished the season 12-1, beating Utah 26-3 in the Mako Bowl, with Kellen Moore throwing for 3,845 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions, while completing 71.3% of his passes. Moore finished 4th in the Heisman voting along with a slew of other awards. Moore's record as a starter, 38-2. Going into Moore's senior year, expectations were high as they opened the season with a win over 19th ranked Georgia and now playing in the Mountain West Conference. Boise State would sit ranked 5th in the nation most of the season before losing to an unranked TCU 36-35, a game that was back and forth with TCU winning on a 2-point conversion with a minute left. Boise State once again went 12-1 beating Arizona State in the Mako Bowl, again with Moore finishing the season throwing for 3,800 yards, 43 touchdowns and 9 interceptions while completing nearly 75% of his passes. Moore rewrote the Boise State record book and finished his collegiate career going 50-3 as a starter, throwing for 14,667 yards, 142 touchdowns, and only 28 interceptions. Going into the NFL draft, many doubted that Kellen Moore could go on to have success in the NFL due to his height along with his arm strength and mobility. As a result, Moore went undrafted in the 2012 NFL draft, but signed with the Lions immediately after the draft as an undrafted free agent. Moore was quoted after the draft saying, I don't think there will probably be a more motivated quarterback. Moore would not get any playing time with the Lions, and on September 6, 2015, he signed with the Dallas Cowboys practice squad. Then Tony Romo sustained a broken collarbone. Moore was promoted to the active roster to serve as Brandon Whedon's backup. He would later go down to the practice squad before being brought up again after Romo broke his collarbone again before playing in his first career regular season game against the New York Jets on December 19th. He would throw an interception on his second career pass before coming back the next possession and scoring a touchdown. His first start came the following week against the Bills and first home start against Washington throwing for 435 yards, 3 touchdowns and 2 interceptions with a 34-23 loss. In 2016 he broke his fibula and re-signed with the Cowboys on March 20th, 2017 before being released a few months later and re-signed and released again. In 2018 he decided to retire and was hired to be the Cowboys quarterback coach. He was then hired as the offensive coordinator in 2019. Then Jason Garrett was let go and Mike McCarthy decided to keep him on the staff. In January, he was rumored to be a possible candidate to take over the Boise State job, which he has since said he's wanted to do in the past, but took his name out of the running saying, I will no longer be pursuing the head coaching job at Boise State. I love Boise State. I will always root for them and I hope one day to be a part of the program again. He instead signed an extension with the Dallas Cowboys and now he is on the ballot of the College Football Hall of Fame, with it being his first year he is eligible, with the class being announced in early 2022. I think what Moore did in college was more than enough to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Moore was not only a special player for those in the Boise, Idaho area, but also for the people who were young football fans at the time, like me. Do you think Kellen Moore is a Hall of Famer? Let me know in the comment section below. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 5K by the end of this month. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.